Hello and welcome to the second video in our touch performance series. We'll focus on water tolerance in this video. We want our users to be able to enter commands to our touch buttons even in the presence of water or perspiration. Additionally, if moisture lands on the touch surface, there should be no response as there was no touch. But with the human body containing roughly 70% water, distinguishing a touching finger from water droplets on the surface is a real challenge. Once again, we'll see how microchip's advanced circuit design and touch algorithms provide superior performance. For this water tolerance test, we are using the same PIC32 WFI32E Curiosity Board and QT7X Pro Touch Extension Board that we used in our first video for speed test. And once again on the right side, you see the competitor's Wi-Fi MCU module. Watch as we spray water on each board and note the results of each solution. It's about, we have functioning systems here. It's about not getting a false trigger by the presence of water. So you see what happened on microchip, nothing. See here, the LED, the color changed, which means that one of the button gets activated. Now trying, that button works, not fast. Button number one, there's a little bit more water accumulated here, no work. Button number two, I cannot get it to work, and the slider position cannot go to, to zero. When you apply water to the surface, you see it here. Important, there's no false trigger caused by the water. Um, if I touch down, all touch is detected for the buttons as well as for the slider. So summing up, the WFI32 shows robust and usable touch even under the presence of water that has been sprayed onto the surface. The WFI32 does not have false touch when sprayed with water, and Microchip's proprietary circuit and touch library provide superior results. Please visit microchip.com WFI32 for more information.